Schmidt beer, the brew that grew to be best in the great Northwest. Your finest craft beer, Rocky. Man to man, smoke Roy Tan. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now for your main event, weighing in at a combined 64 ounces and 85 IBUs, Gorgeous Greg, Slammin' Scott, Dangerous Dan, and Alluring Alley. Oh, yeah. Welcome in, everybody. (laughs) Very accurate. Very accurate. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. This is the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. Most importantly, thanks for drinking along. I am Greg. Over there is Slammin' Scott. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Dangerous Dan. Oh, my God. I love that one. <laughs> and Alluring Alley. Oh, hey. This is so exciting. I guess it's uh, Facebook official now. You're, you're in the voiceover. Perfect. I'm yes. so excited. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I only had a creep for like, you know, six months. Mm, closer to here, but yes. Uh, <laughs> shout out to our top listening city of last week, which is Clearwater, Florida. Whoa. What's up, Clearwater? We've got a story in uh, booze news for you. Very Florida. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget, we're on the socials. Hashtag show us your beer. And uh, also rate and subscribe on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening. Uh, also, uh, hashtag cans for cans. We haven't plugged that in a while. Don't forget hashtag cans oh, for yeah. cans. We've well, got that good can art. So... Uh, we have a lot to get to today. First of all, as this drops, October 27th, happy National American Beer Day, everybody. Ooh. Yes. Really? Hope every. Yeah, for real. Yeah, too. wait, what? Yeah, October <laughs> 27th. Yeah, happy uh, National American Beer Day. Darn it, I thought Ooh. that was every day. Uh, well, celebrate all year long. I kind of like how they have like different ways of wording. I feel like we have a beer day every month. Like, <laughs> exactly, there's always right. some sort of national beer day, and I they mean, just word it differently, and I'm all yes. for it. I have a beer day every day. So. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you go out and celebrate. Let us know on the socials. Tweet at us. What are you drinking for uh, National American Beer Day, all you Americans? Or, hey, all of our Aussie friends, you drinking some American beer down under? Let ah. us know. Mm-hmm. Let us know. All right. We got a lot to get to. We got, uh, of course, some uh, delicious beers to drink, got some sports news to talk about, and some booze news, and so much more. So uh, let's crack right into things, because I'm getting thirsty. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Having myself a beer, indeed. Uh, Since next week is the election, I figure it's only appropriate that I drink Humble Sea Brewing's Just Fog and Vote. <laughs> oh, that's rad. Yeah, Just Fog and Vote. It is 8.2%, has a 4.07 on untapped. It's a double IPA. It's a double dry hopped, hot fused West Coast double IPA fused with Citra, Nelson, Simcoe, and Mosaic. And I can tell you, I appreciate that whoever writes their descriptions has never worked for Stone Brewing. Nice. Yes. And Short and point. sweet. Exactly. All yes. we need to know is how good it is in the hops that are in it. Uh, on, on the sniffer for this one, <laughs> it is very tropical and juicy. I even get maybe like a little peach mango action going on in there. And uh, as you can see, even though the name is just Fog and Vote, this is uh, very much a clear beer, very much a West Coast double yeah. IPA. Yeah, not very foggy or hazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought for sure that was going to be a foggy from Humble Sea. I thought so as well, but uh, due to the name, but it's not. It's very much a West Coast. And uh, it is very clean, very crisp, especially for an 8.2 percenter. This thing sneaks up on you. It's a little dangerous. It's very easy to crush. I get flavors of citrus and tropical, a little, um, I can't quite put my, my tongue on it. Maybe a little peach in there and finishes up clean. And dank with a little bit of pine bitterness at the end that we all want and love in our West Coast IPAs. Yes. So uh, if you haven't picked up on it, just go out there and fog and vote, everybody. Can't mm-hmm. complain if you don't vote. Yep. No word. Yeah. No matter what side of the shitty fence you're on. I actually kind of just don't want you to complain either way, even if you do vote or don't vote. Just don't fucking complain. <laughs> That's true. We want to hear about it. Go vote <laughs> and shut the it. fuck up. Yep. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, 
My my crush on Humble Sea Brewing continues. Love those guys. Uh, I love them too. Oh, so good. I, I'm so excited I got the uh, subscription pack. I know, I know I've become like a total haze whore for it, but it, it's so worth it. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's different, though. They're foggy. They're not hazy. I swear it's they're different. Foggy. And they handle it so much better than a lot of these breweries. A lot of breweries just like, let's make it hazy. It's like, mm. No, I think Humble Sea is doing something different. They I really love are. them. Yeah. yeah. Love them. Love their can arts. Love their names. Narcolis Cage. How good is that? Come on. <laughs> yeah, so good. Such good beer name. So uh, get some uh, Humble Sea if you can. I, I can't get enough of it. And uh, just fog and vote, if you will. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's start discussing things. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. It is indeed. No grievances over here. Uh, a couple of things to bring up. First, uh, reminder. We talked about it last week. Just going to remind everybody one last time that uh, the shows are going to stop start dropping on Wednesday morning instead of Tuesday. Starting next week, they'll be dropping on Wednesday. So look out for that. Then you shouldn't have to do anything different if you're subscribed. You'll just have to go an extra day the first time. And uh, I'm sorry you'll miss us, but you know you can call me or something. We can chat. If that makes you feel better. Or you can yeah. call, call Allie or drunk Dan, voicemail. Scott. Yeah, yeah, drunk voicemails Get are always good. Get those voicemails going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I can take the blame for that because it takes that long to edit most of my shit out. So Right. Yeah. It does it does take all day. That we're all <laughs> out of the studio and doing this from our options were to either fire Scott or just push it back a day. <laughs> Might have been easier to fire Scott. Yeah. Allie really well. fought for it though. I don't know why. She really likes him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got your opposite. back, Scott. Yeah. Somebody does. You. Thank you, Allie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She got mm-hmm. you from the back. I'll send that check. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Whoa. Uh and then also I wanted to remind everybody if you didn't listen to last week's batch two twenty three, make sure you go back. We had Nick Borland, head brewer mm. of Fourteen Cannons on the show. He was hanging out with us talking about their newest release, as well as just kind of how uh, beer industry is surviving in the Rona and, and canning things and latest operations from there. It was a good show. So if you missed last week's two twenty three I recommend you go back. He hung out with us for the whole time. It was, it was a lot of fun, and uh, that collaboration was fucking delicious. Oh, man, Yeah, yes. that was solid. Absolutely. Mm. That was fun having him on the show, too, because usually when you uh, interview a brewer, it's just you and the brewer. So mm-hmm. it was kind of cool, like, you know, hanging out and shooting the shit a little bit, especially him being so close to me, like, you know, working at Ween's in this past. Oh, yeah. And- yeah. Who, who would have thunk it? What a small world. <laughs> I know. Such a small world. <laughs> that was but cool. like, yeah, that was super cool. And I believe it was Batch 85 where him and I sat down for a, a full interview. So if you haven't listened to that, go back to listen to that one too. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, over the weekend, uh, Borat 2 came out. I watched Borat 2. Have you guys seen this yet? Anybody seen no, Borat no, 2? No, not yet. I've seen no, the sir. commercials, but I haven't seen it yet. So uh, first of all, it was funny. Was it better than Borat 1? No. Nothing's ever going to be, I don't think. There were a couple of moments that were like really funny and possibly had funnier singular moments than Borat One, but I think Borat One uh, had a, a better, you know, uh, all the way through. If that makes any sense, uh, I don't want to give away More any consistent. of the gags. Yeah, I don't want to give away any of the gags because that's that's the whole fun is seeing what he's going to say to these people. So uh, I do recommend if you like Borat One, you like Borat Two, go watch it. Um, and I, I'll tell you, I do not miss going to the movie theaters at all. It's part of my Amazon Prime, so basically it was free, and I had a, a load of great beer in the fridge, and I just sat at home, watched Borat with the the wife and a couple of friends, and got drunk. It was fantastic. I don't need to pay thirty dollars to go to the movies. Yeah, true. Yeah, that. fuck that. Dude, the movies are so expensive. Fuck yeah. that. How much is it for like Amazon Prime for like a brand new movie? Uh, well, this one was included with your Prime subscription. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I thought. Okay, I thought the new movies they were still charging like something. But they're not. Yeah, doesn't that mean that that's a shit movie then if it's free? I think that was like part of the promotion or something. Oh, okay. because Borat One is also now included. I think Amazon bought it, like bought the franchise or something, because you can get Borat One now included and now Borat Two. So I, I think it's like something they were running to try and entice people to come over and subscribe. Hmm. But yeah, does Borat? He does like the. He's kind of like a Tom Green, right? Where he like kind of like yeah. I don't know pulls pranks. I mean, he does pull pranks, uh, but he's in a character. You know, he's he's right, 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 right. Yeah. I don't, Dan, would you compare it? I don't know if I'd compare it to Tom Green. To a degree. I mean, he is somebody that a camera's following him around and he's trying to get a reaction out of people. So yeah, that's true in that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to admit, I I used to have major feels for Tom Green. Really? 
A big crush. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yep. disappointed mm. Dan yep. making another appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I just loved how he rolled. Like, he just didn't give a fuck. And I just thought it was super hot. Like, I don't know. It's, it was less about, like, the way he looks, just the more more of the way he rolls. I just well, thought it was fucking rad. Th- that answers the age-old question. What did Drew Barrymore see in it? Thank you. You know Thank what I you. mean? I guess yes, that's I was what it was. Oh, yeah. The best part about oh. Tom Green was that he's uh, hitting oh, Drew Barrymore. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah. But no, I, that, I didn't question that one at all. Wow. I, yeah. <laughs> I think he's awesome. Wait. Am I... <laughs> Wait, really? No cosigns? Hmm. Ooh, crickets, yeah. huh? Wow. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> you, you, you can go listen to the Bum Bum song in the corner by yourself. <laughs> uh, my bum is on your head. My bum is on your head. <laughs> Dude, like, where's my dinner, bitch statue? Come on. That was good. That's so good. That was good. Oh, God. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's funny. I don't want to bang him, though. <laughs> 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 well, you don't have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, do we know? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, man. In that case, Allie, what what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm unsending my my DMs that I sent to Tom Green last night, confessing hey, my love that I had for you. him when I was 18. Did you ask him any questions or? <laughs> oh man, just been crushing <laughs> on Tom Green. No, um, the only nothing really. Honestly, I've had a pretty cool, just chill, mellow week. I worked a couple extra days at the brewery. And so I, I it was a different crowd on Saturday, which is kind of fun. Yeah, because um, you normally work on Thursdays, right? I just work Thursdays. Yeah. So this week I worked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it was cool. It was nice. cool. I, lo- I fucking love my job. But um, I just wanted to follow up with the conversation and maybe just put this out there um, about recycling because <laughs> we were talking about recycling cans and how brewers are at a shortage right now. What did he say? They're nine weeks out from... Oh, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody needs to drink all their beers and empty their cans and okay. take them to the recycle center because I went to the recycle center the day after we recorded because I was like, oh, you know, I'm preaching, but I should practice what I preach. And I, I got 45 bucks. Damn. And nice. I filled up one trash can of plastic bottles and one trash can of aluminum. So it's not that much. And I got 45 bucks. Pretty good beer money. There you go. It's like eight beers if it's craft beer, but fuck it, whatever. I felt felt like I was saving Mother Earth. You know what you should do with that? You know, because, you know, like you said, it's it's only $45 and so many craft beer. Like, you should go out and get like a really expensive, like top dollar craft beer and you'll feel like less bad about it because it's just (laughs) recycle money. Something big and barrel aged. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I honestly, I, I have recycled for a while and I always just stash it. I just stash the cash and because I I don't really. Probably. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, You don't want the husband to find out. (laughs) A little bit. (laughs) I'm sorry. What was that beer we talked about a couple weeks ago? It was like uh, a million percent alcohol and it's really expensive. Oh, yeah. I I believe it was 58% alcohol or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And they sold it in like those mini champagne bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Go wait in line for that. (laughs) (laughs) Me. Or not. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Or not. <laughs> I'd rather just throw it in my rat hole. Might as well. <laughs> any yeah. uh any Yuma trips planned? Fuck. <laughs> Great. That doesn't no, sound yes. good. If I could get some prayers sent my way, some good <laughs> vibes. We have to go to Yuma again Thoughts on Friday. Fucking during Halloween. Mm. Oh, that is come crazy. Mm. on, guys. What the fuck? Good luck. Yes. Oh no. Halloween. So we're heading Yuma? out there on Friday. Yeah. Ooh. Halloween and hell. Well, that could be a movie. It's Halloween in Yuma. Yeah. yeah, I think it was called The Hills be. Have Eyes. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Whoa. So, oops. Ooh. Dancing. Hey, Greg. Sorry. How you doing? <laughs> My webcam's falling. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Easily distracted by the crotch shot. Jeez. My Thank apologies. You. Slash, you're welcome. Uh, mm. Dan, what's uh, what's cracking with you over there? Oh man, what a segue! Another one. Um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Speaking of crotches, <laughs> so uh, Sunday I had some uh, friends over for uh, for a barbecue because it was our, our two favorite teams we were playing was the Raiders and the Buccaneers. Which you know, it's my me and you have my a friend compa. whose favorite team is the Buccaneers. Two people, I know two people. One what? of them's my brother. Yeah, and then this other dude is uh, my compa's friend. So we had them both over. Isn't that weird though? Like, you so know, that's, weird. that's what happens when there's, you know, no team in Southern California for 20 years, you know, you oh, end up with yeah. all these transplant teams, you know what I mean? So 
I don't know. It's true. You know, that reminds me I have to do a special shout out to uh, Jose. You guys remember Jose? He came out to the local to see us when we did our live show there. Mm-hmm. Um, he is a huge Dodgers fan. So I assumed he was just an LA fan all around. When we talked a lot of shit about Celtics, he came out of the bushes and said he's not only a Celtics fan, but also a Tampa Bay fan. And I was oh like, what God. is wrong with you? No kidding. No, yeah. allowed to, not allowed to listen to our show anymore. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait, Please. wait. Sorry. No. <laughs> Hey, so, mute his mic. His mic. Yeah. <laughs> Again, See, Allie, this is your fault. I was going to fire him. <laughs> uh. Okay. All Thanks right. again, Valley. Thanks again. Yeah. But is he a, hey, is he a newly formed Tampa Bay fan because of Tom Brady or no? You know, he told me why, and I forget. Um, um, I'm a horrible person. You know what? Um, the one of the my buddies, uh, not my brother, but my 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 buddy was telling me why he became a Tampa Bay fan, and it actually made sense. He said that he used to be a Raider fan. And he felt like that John Gruden got did dirty over there. He signs with the Buccaneers, and he's like, "Okay, now I'm a Bucks fan." So, and okay. he's been a Bucks fan. I was like, "Oh wow, so he's like, a Gruden fan." Yeah, yeah. All right. It was a well, real Gruden's interesting back on story. the Raiders. I know, right? <laughs> so, but I guess yeah, he's staying with the the Buccaneers. So, hmm. yeah, that's yeah. good. Interesting. But, uh, I feel like you can only change your team like so many times, right? Before you, turn you, you know, limit. yeah, or, or you go yeah. to jail. Yeah. yeah, you get like two or three chances, and you, then you go to jail. Well, like two, uh, yeah, I think I think two is like the max, and you you can't sign it. You you can't change your mind anymore. You're I'd committed. Say if your team leaves the city, you get a free pass. True, I'll True. give you that. Like if if the Raiders move away to Oakland, for like the ninth time, you get a pass. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I don't know. See, and my son was thinking that you know if if Trout, this was a couple years ago before he signed that major contract. If Trout left the the Halos, he was like, you know, he's going to follow Trout. I'm like, no, you can't fucking do that. He's like, no. So I'm like, so you're just a Trout fan. You're not an Angels fan. He's like, yeah, hundred percent. Wow, it hurt my ears. Because <laughs> yeah. you I was know, like, whoa. And that was and the last time you ever did his laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> stinking ever yeah. since. And that's scary. <laughs> boy. That, that's scary for you though, because you know if you follow Strout and then Trout retires with that team, he's going to remain a fan that's of that true. team. Ooh, he gets stuck on whatever team Trout goes to. You know what I mean? Well, see, and right now it works really well because the whole family we're all Angels fans. There's no arguments there, so it works. Uh-huh. But. If Good he choice. changes and oh man, oh well, yeah, hopefully I don't the, know. Hopefully the angels sign him for like another thirty years or something. So they oh, will. they got, they have him locked down. Yeah, if, if they gave the butter. money, yeah, if they give the money to pool host that they did, they're <laughs> oh, obviously going to give it to Trout. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, for sure. So wait, wasn't this Tampa Bay's first win this week? Uh, no, they're oh. doing good this year. Which one? The Buccaneers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Doing, they, they've yeah. been doing good. Yeah, they've been yeah. doing good. I believe they're four and two or five and I two or something so. like that. Yeah. Oh, I thought they only won like one or two games. No, I think they've only lost one or two games. Yeah, they're oh. they're playing really well. No yeah. thanks to and yeah. the the defense is what was really impressive too. Like uh, they right. got a really good front seven. Their secondary, my brother was shitting all over them, saying that they're <laughs> terrible. And he's kind of <laughs> right, but you know. That front seven is vicious, man. They killed Aaron Rodgers in that week before against True. the Packers. Yeah, 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 it was terrible. It was the True. defense that killed the Packers, not mm-hmm. their elite quarterback. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, their elite quarterback. He's playing yeah. large. I mean, but with the weapons he has, he's playing, you know, pretty good. But um, yeah, yeah. So we're all like, I was kick. We're kicking it in my screen room now. The newly, you know, pimped out screen room and everything with the keg, keg and all. I swear Ooh. to God, dude, I must have bought that keg. I think maybe uh, Jack was behind me to buy some fucking beanstalk beans or something because i cannot <laughs> kill that keg for the life of me i swear i think it's like blessed by god or something we're i'm Need swirling it around. <laughs> that is I'm, a problem i'm swirling it around and it, it's almost done now i can feel it like it's there like there's maybe one or two more but i just i couldn't get to it on sunday so i don't know i gotta keep trying you let me know if you need help with that. Yeah. <laughs> My heart goes out to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but talk uh, about thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah. So that, that that's we tried to finish, put a dent in that, you know, and we did. I made my uh famous uh cola ribs. Uh so Ooh. that was really good. It was nice like nice. having like in the oven, like having some ribs cooking, you could smell it. Oh my god, it was so good. And uh yeah, for the cola, I bought the Mexican cola with the cocaine in it. So like oh, the real oh, shit. kicked it up a notch, man, big time. So uh huh. Good stuff. Everyone's man. watching the game. Hey, look at the box. There's a box there. I'm the Raiders. There they go. Look, oh my god, look at that score not touch. Oh my god. Hey, can I get some more ribs? Yeah. <laughs> can I snort some more ribs? 
Yeah. People chewing through the <laughs> bone. <bell. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this a slow motion? What's going on? <laughs> oh, God. So, Very nice. uh, so, yeah, good stuff. Good. It was a good time I had by all. I, I like it. I like it. Scott, anything going on over there? Um, just the fact that I uh, had some old lady hit on me. Mm. And I'm oh. old, so when I say old lady, it's like she's like one foot in the grave. At least. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's in my retail establishment, the uh, Costco pharmacy that I work at. Right, right. Um. And she's she's a regular, so she comes in all the time, and every time it's the same kind of thing where she will come in and you know, try to talk to, and you have a line there, so you're like, like trying to push her on, and then she waits for the senior bus to come. So then she, can you get me a chair to wait for the senior bus? So we, I mean, we do we go through this; it's a it's a thing. And so she came in the other day, and pretty much the same thing. And then for some reason she came back, which she usually doesn't do. She just waits for the bus. She came back, she bought something. She starts to walk away and then she turns around and says, she goes, would you like my phone number? <laughs> and I'm like, Whoa. uh, no, thank no. you. <laughs> no, thank you. She goes, are you married? I go, uh, yes, I am. She goes, uh, oh, okay. You're so nice. And like, uh, oh, oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. She hey, slid well. into your DMs later. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, she's just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Oh, man. Touche. Hey, That's old a- ladies need Oof. love, too. Apparently. I guess they do. I guess yeah. they do. And you but know, from desperate me, measures. Not from me, but I guess they do. And don't lie, Scott. You know you're looking in the mirror later like, yeah, I still got it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Finger guns. Finger guns. <laughs> yeah. Pew, pew. yeah. But I kicked myself later. I, I should have asked, well, do you have money? So yeah. He does the, he does like the lick the hand and yeah. wipes his hair. <laughs> yeah. Fixes his hair. Yeah, <laughs> the, finger lick, guns. Lick the finger, lick the eyebrow. Yep. Still got yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Save, ba- save, baby. Oh jeez! <laughs> oh, fine. Me. Looking fine. Oh god! I just want to go on the record and say she's got great taste in men. You know, oh. it's dark in oh, there. Oh wow! Uh-oh. So dark. <laughs> so dark. I can, I can see the tunnel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. I feel like we should move on from I, that. Tr- trying to make the wife jealous, I told her, and she just laughed. <laughs> yeah. She's like, "Go for it." Yeah, yeah really. She's like, funny. So did she give you her phone number? Yeah. She's like, well, you, want thank call, God. "You want me to call her for you?" <laughs> yeah. So is that eight oh five area code or <laughs> here? Here. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh well, speaking of uh, Scott over there, let's find out what Scott's drinking. How appropriate. What do you what do you have in hand over there? I got me uh IPA from Knee Deep Brewing Company. Simtra triple IPA. Eleven point two five oh god, we you got a double digits, did you? Eleven point two five percent. A hundred and thirty one. Yeah, hundred and thirty one IBUs. Has a really good four point one two and untapped and a ninety six on beer advocate. So apparently a good beer. Uh, from the brewery, they say Simtra Triple IPA delivers a punch in the face with its very danky hop aroma derived from Simcoe and Citra hops. You want a more hops? You got them. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Very and there's some hops in it. A lot, very hoppy. Uh-huh. What, 131 IBUs? I'd say so. Yes, indeed. Do you taste yeah. anything besides pine? <laughs> you know, I smell a lot of pine, but yeah, I taste it too. Is it like a uh, car air freshener? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. So are we enjoying Very Simtra? Cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's great. Beyond the fact that it has a double digit ABV? Yeah, no, it's got a good taste. It's uh like I say, it's it's kind of hoppy and uh you get a little a smoothie sweet kind of taste mm. going in there. Probably yeah, from very, the alcohol. Very nice. And and believe it or not, it's a little bit boozy. Uh, <laughs> What do you what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I you know, I've had that one. It's been years and years and years, and I don't remember it all that well, but I remember not disliking it, so it can't be too no, bad. No, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's pretty well balanced if I remember correctly. Um, all right, old time of the week. Booby hutch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's a bra. <laughs> nope. Booby oh. hutch. <laughs> it's a covered Horse-drawn vehicle what? used especially no, in not. the 18th century. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, nope. Yes, it is. My boobies are in a hutch right now. Are they? <laughs> like a nice wood cabinet? 
Yeah, I know. I was like, wait, what's a hutch? <laughs> wait, it's a, it's a, the cover. It's like the Oregon Trail shit. Yeah, sort of, yeah, smaller, <laughs> but booby, yes. booby hutch, booby hutch, <laughs> and are tits involved at all? Unfortunately, not. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. Wow, that's yeah. That would be like you know, I don't know. Just I could see that like you googling it and add to cart, and then you get it, and you're like, that's not what I fucking ordered. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a picture if you add to cart. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? A whole fucking this. wagon. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, what so. am I supposed to do with this? Head west. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I, is everybody ready for this? I don't Probably. know. We received a voicemail. What? Oh man. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so it's it's oh, boy, either, that's... and I I got my oh, fingers crossed for a uh, Fontana Jim. It's either Fontana Jim or Flex. Yes. I'll tell you, know. it comes from someone with lots of muscles. Oof. Oh, love, love muscles. Here just is one. just one. <laughs> Here is the voicemail. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, good morning, unfiltered gents. This is the long-awaited flex call. I uh, couldn't stand to hear the disappointment in Allie's voice week in and week out. So here you guys go. Uh, let me start off by saying I am not drunk. It is. 9.30 in the morning, and I'm on my way to visit a really, really good buddy of mine who had some unfortunate uh, things happen in his life, so we're trying to go and cheer him up, right? So uh, let me welcome you all to the first week of how Flex has to sneak beer into his house so his wife does not find out. Uh, my wife... Can't wait. She, I, you know, she's not against the whole me buying beer and drinking a shit ton of beer kind of thing. But she's against when I buy a shit ton of beer, and then I come in with more. So, one week after I had a pretty decent haul, you know, 24, 30 cans, bought a case of beer. Um, you know, there's a sweet release that I, I really had to jump on. And I'm thinking to myself, fuck, ah, man, my, my wife's just going to be pissed if I come into the house with more beer. So I'm driving home from work, and thought crosses on my mind. Get to my house, I pull in my driveway, and I park. I take the four pack and I have this little recycling bin just inside of the door <laughs> in the garage that leads into the house. So I put the four pack of beer in the recycling bin, take like another, uh, like a cardboard from a six pack or something like that, and I lay it across the four pack. And just in case she was having to walk in the garage and find it out, you know, I couldn't have that, right? So I'm thinking to myself, all right, the beer is hidden. How do I get the beer? from the garage into the house. Light bulb, right? So I go in, greet my wife, greet my kids. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I had a long day. Oh, yeah, dad's <laughs> thirsty, right? So I grab a soda out of, the, out of the fridge. I don't think I've drank a soda so fast in my life. So I crush the can. What do I do? What do I do with the can, right? Got to recycle it. Go green, baby. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to, you know, going to go grab a beer now. I'm done with my soda, whatever. So I <laughs> crush the can. Open the garage door as quietly as I possibly can. And, like, I'm, like, cartoon style, like, Looney Tunes, <laughs> Wiley Coyote, like, on his tiptoes, sneaking the beer out of the recycle bin, quietly again, closing the garage door, and then just tiptoeing all the way down the basement stairs, just <laughs> so I can have a sweet relief. So I just maxed out that last voicemail, but I just want to say that I hope you guys got kind of a, kind of a, a laugh out of that voicemail, and uh, you got a couple more beer sneaking stories uh, coming along the way here. So hope you guys enjoyed my call, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, thanks, Flex. That oh was fantastic. Oh my god! I can't hear. Wait to hear the rest. God bless that man. Yes. God bless him, and you know what? That was worth our repeated requests for him to call in. That was fucking amazing. And not only that, I'm dying because I feel like flex gets me because I can't tell you how many times like I, like he's do like ex describing how he's sneaking beer. And I'm like, Oh yeah, I already know that move. I do that. I do that when I sneak a beer to the shower, I do oh that. When my I God. Sneak beer. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking beer all over the house. It's, <laughs> I can't even believe it. This is uh, thank you. Flex. That was worth it. Worth the wait. Times. He's like, I used to think my life was a tragedy, 
but now I know it's a comedy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a Joker quote right there. Oh my oh, god, yeah. that that is sad, sad. Oh my oh. god. Oh, Dan's obviously not married. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right, he's There's not. A reason why? Yeah, yeah. there you go, yeah. right there. Hey, that that's me right there too with my husband. I'm sneaking <laughs> beers all over the place. Oh my god. I always find I always find beers that I stashed. You know, it's like a, like a hamster kind of. You know. <laughs> Well, this is Ken 2018. <laughs> I, I've actually done that before, and I'm like, fuck, that was a really good beer, and it just sat. And oh, man. Oh, It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. That well, thank you, call. Flex. Thank you very yeah. much. I can't wait to hear more about how you sneak oh. beers into the house. This, oh, we need, my God. We need I, the tip. We need to give him his own segment. Yeah, I got yeah. I got to no, prep no for kidding. it now. Now I know it's coming. I won't be so like shattered by it. Holy crap, dude. Right. I have to say that he he came in pretty hot, and now that I think we need to make room for him in the show because that was uh, we're definitely going to keep requesting more call call ins because we need more flex. There we go with Fire Scott we, again. We need more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, you know oh, I think we could see? actually get rid of Scott now. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> there Cancel it is. that check. You know what we'll yeah. do is we'll we'll have them do like an arm wrestling contest, and the winner gets to stay on the show. <laughs> Perfect. He's going yeah. to sign. Yeah, he's going down. Yes, indeed. Um, all right, let's uh, let's move right along and, and discuss a little sports. And now the sports brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. All right, so uh, yeah, Dodgers are up three-two uh, right now. Uh, in the World Series, but did anybody catch any of the games? Did anybody see that game four? Holy Unfortunately, shit. Oh, we got to bring that up. Yeah, we got oh. to, man. Like, it was you know, embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Wasn't it? Like, I kind of yeah. felt like just watching that game, the way they lost it, how they only needed one out, and then you thought, well, okay, maybe we could try for extra innings, and it was like they lost it, in, and I got to say it, in the most Dodger way possible. Yep. Yeah, that's true. I oh felt like God. I was watching Little League, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I was watching with a couple of people and I said, look, here's the deal. Baez is a piece of shit. And sure enough, he blew it. Uh-huh. And I said it. And just if things couldn't get worse enough, I said, they'll probably close out with Jansen, who is just as big a piece of shit, who has nothing behind him anymore. No right. one's afraid of him. Nope. He hasn't had it in four years. Get rid of both of those losers. Yeah, it was interesting that um, they were talking to him before he had to go against uh, a Rosarena. And it was like, dude, that guy, I mean, he set a record, right? Doesn't he got like nine fucking home runs in the single postseason? Like, that's a record. He killed right. Barry Bonds and all these other great players. It's it's a Rosalina by himself with nine home runs in this postseason. And Jansen like, called everyone out after everyone was talking to him, saying, maybe we should walk this guy. He's like, no, I'm going to fucking pitch to him. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, he is. You know, and, and then he did. He didn't get the homer, but he ended up walking him anyway. So it's like, you know, you right. probably just saved your arm and walked him. Well, and my biggest complaint about Jansen in that game specifically was he should have been behind the plate backing up uh, the catcher yep. yeah, yeah, for, that, yeah, that too. for that wild throw. Oh you know God. what? We, we talk a lot of shit about Kershaw in the postseason. Watch any time uh, a, a hitter hits to either side, like, you know, very strong to the left or the right. He will run to that base. Like if you hit it deep into right and very, very right, um, not deep, but very, very right. Yeah. Kershaw will run to first base because, you know, Muncy's running for the ball. Wow. Kershaw yeah. will always back up his defenders. And Jansen uh, stood there in the way like a fucking idiot. Yeah, 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 he did. That's true. Speaking of Kershaw, he has been very impressive this postseason. He's been very not, I got, not I got, Kershaw. I've been, I've been very critical of him. So I got to say he's been very impressive. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to some of my friends after the game, you know, like kind of just like, dude, you thought that was bad and it can't get any worse. Like Kershaw's pitching game six and it was like <laughs> or game five. And yeah, sure enough, like he, he proved me wrong. He, they won the game. So and he did yeah. a good job. So looking good. Good for him. Wait, are you saying yeah. that you've been disappointed in Kershaw? I think uh, most Dodger fans have kind of been yeah. disappointed once He's the postseason a, started. What? Yeah. I thought everybody just loves Kershaw. <laughs> Okay, the we'll move on season. to the next story. I don't even know what she's talking <laughs> about. He's a good the, regular season pitcher, what but the, wait, season wh- he what? He chokes. I don't know what I'm talking about. He chokes. <laughs> Are you fucking with us? <laughs> uh, yeah, no? we can't tell. Question, oh. question mark. We, we no, can't I tell. Every, wait, Clayton Kershaw, the pitcher. 
We we love him up until October. Oh, yeah, does guy. he choke in October? He chokes in October, but not this she's year. Fucking not this well, dude, my, my fucking, she's, hey, she's fucking with us. I don't know. My fucking my halos are my ha- no, I'm not fucking with you guys. My halos are on the fucking golf course by October. We ain't seen October <laughs> in a minute. Okay. So I don't really know. And usually when it's you know, October, I'm rooting for whoever Whoever's playing the Dodgers? Oh, the Dodgers. No. Okay. Okay. Wow. okay. All right, Next moving story. on. Uh, Anyone who's got... fired me. Let's go Wow. Let's Next go race. Race. We got, uh, In NFL news, we got Antonio Brown uh, signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just because everybody's fucking going there to go fucking win a Super Bowl. So <laughs> as well, right? Why the fuck not? They're like the new fucking Patriots now. I mean, literally with I mean, Brady and Literally, yeah. <laughs> they you know are. I mean? And the so. Patriots are struggling. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I have a feeling beat up this by, nine, by my Niners. <laughs> I have a feeling <laughs> this might be the straw that breaks the camel's back, man. Because this guy, I don't know, he's a fuck up. I mean, let's just put it <laughs> yeah. out there. You know, the the Patriots were the ones that they're the ones that hey, we'll take a fucking flyer on Ocho Cinco. And then my brother was the one telling me this, like, you know, we'll take a flyer on Randy Moss. Like, you know, they took a flyer on Brown, and they said, no, we can't put it up, put up with this guy. We, you know, and they put up with right. all those dudes for at least a season, one week. Yeah, if anybody can put up with out of here. Yeah, yeah, he's a cancer. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. So I don't. I really feel like it's a matter of time before they let him go. Probably, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Oh, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so next we got uh, Daniel Jones runs for eighty yards <laughs> and trips over a sprinkler. Or I don't yeah. know what. Did you guys watch that game on Thursday? <laughs> I I missed it. Oh, I my saw God. it on the news. I didn't see the game. Okay, well, yeah, he he just basically. I mean, it was a really impressive uh, play at first, you know. And it was funny because I was giving my comps like so many, like my compas, so many, like he drafted Daniel Jones in like every draft. I'm like, why dude, this guy fucking sucks. And we've been kind of back and forth, back and forth. And mostly it's been me telling him he sucks because he has sucked. And then this play though, he runs out and he breaks free and he's running for the fucking end zone. And then at about the 20 yard line, like, I don't know what happens. He just trips over his own feet and face plants into the fucking <laughs> grass. So mm-hmm. uh, fucking hilarious. There's all these memes that came out afterwards. Uh, they had the, I got to send it to you guys. There's one where the Buffalo Wild Wings, like they they did the commercial where somebody like presses the sprinkler, it goes up and it trips Daniel Jones. (laughs) Oh, no. It's so good. So, uh, but yeah, it was funny because watching it, I was like, oh, wow, my Combs was right. Look at he's going to fucking score. And then he fucking fell. I'm like, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This guy sucks. I mean, really, it was just very on brand for the Giants. Yeah. It really was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, and it was interesting too, just, you know, putting it out there. Like at the time when he was running, they clocked him at like 22 miles an hour. I mean, they said he was a couple notches below uh, Tyreek Hill, who had the fastest touchdown r- run up until that point. So, I mean, damn. He was going quick, but apparently it was <laughs> faster than he could handle because he He's fucking fell. Way too quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, in other NFL news, we got Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, oh. tears his ACL and he's out for the rest of the season. Wow. So if you drafted and I got him, him in my fantasy, fantasy. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you did? Oh, man. Yep. Terrible. You have him too? No, I don't. Oh. I don't. I drafted him last year and I was thoroughly disappointed. And uh, <laughs> he's actually been doing fair, I think, this year. Would he's you got say? some good numbers, fantasy wise. Right, right. Fantasy wise. But like, it was just. You know, par for the course, basically. It was uh, Baker Mayfield threw a fucking interception, another one. And uh, I don't know. You know, and Odell Beckham, like, hurt himself trying to tackle the, you know, the the defender. And mm-hmm. it's like, you could say, hey, what a pussy. You couldn't tackle him or something. But at the same time, it's like, how many times has this guy had to go from offense to defense because yeah. Mayfield's been throwing true, the ball away? True. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's kind of on him. That's yeah. some bullshit. That is but, but look at him yesterday, though. I mean, he was a Dr. Jack Lemister Hyde. The first half, he was terrible. <laughs> yeah. The second half, he was just, like, hot. Oh, well, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll, I'll put this, though. The, I think the Bengals and the Cowboys probably have the worst defenses in the NFL. Like, I think. Yeah, that's true. Put me behind center and you guys running some routes, we can get at least 20 <laughs> yards on the Bengals, I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true. Let's give it a shot. You know? And then mm-hmm. uh, in NBA news, uh, Paul George uh, he's upset with his NBA 2K rating because oh, he feels no. like yeah, an 88 is apparently too low for him or something. So, do they have a rating for fragile? You know what I mean? <laughs> no maybe kidding. that's part of it, or you know, maybe it's like you know a percentage of you know likelihood to hit the backboard on a fucking three point shot. <laughs> he'll get a hundred out of a hundred on that. Maybe it'll push him push him up to a ninety one. 
Yeah, uh, I don't feel bad for you, Paul George. No, nobody does. Nope, no, not a single bit. That's is right. Cry baby or something. Well, he's just he he's made a, a clipper, so yeah. And also oh. a clipper. <laughs> he he learned from the best. Former coach Doc Rivers. That's right. Mm-hmm. All bunch of babies every year. Pretty much. Well, very nice. Very well done. Yeah, Dan. Job yeah. well done. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. That was thank very you. good. That was Bravo. extremely well done. Thank Much you. better than how I do You it. just secured your job position. You're, I think so. you're going to stick around a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Exactly. Um, speaking of uh, securing job positions, Allie, why don't you tell us what you <laughs> are drinking over there? I'm so fired. It's a lot of pressure. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Can't wait till you pronounce this one. <laughs> oh boy okay so i'm getting nervous okay so i am drinking Your job I, depends on it i i know there's so much <laughs> pressure right now um uh, it's fructus fr- wait what did we decide shit son of a nutcracker fructus danica one fructus? sure is that, that what that's we my said best. yeah do you okay. want me to read it danica? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks but no, um, <laughs> it's from Evil Twin Brewing in New York City. This was sent to me by my buddy Beers and Jeers on the gram. It's his birthday on Wednesday, so I cracked a beer in his honor because he's, I don't know how old he's turning, but he's got a birthday on Wednesday. So happy on birthday. Un- happy birthday, Sal. On Untapped, it is a 4.55. And the description says, say goodbye to E.T. Stay Home and welcome the first edition of our new sour beer series. We packed this sour with even more fruit than ever before. Flavor blasts of stone fruit, ripe mangoes, and sweet raspberries. Mm -hmm. And it's got some really cool, like, kind of, like, vintage old lady can art. It's kind of cool. It looks like, like, um, an oval... I don't know, piece of art. That yeah, I just I just pulled up the picture of it just now. It is cool looking kind of old yeah. lady vintage uh what what are the things they used to like knit little uh cross stitch. Cross oh. stitch, thank you. Yeah. yeah. That was me my old girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or your your new one in fact. Uh, my new one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well she's old but she's new. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> old to us, new oh, to she... you. <laughs> yeah. One's ma- one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyways, the beer. <laughs> the beer is amazing. It, oh, also, it's a 6.5 ABV. Mm. Pouring this bad boy out, it seriously, it's like a smoothie. Like, I could totally get away with drinking this for breakfast. And um, it's like, feels like it. I, I won't. I won't. But I could if you I should. wanted to. You totally um, should. I will. <laughs> I don't pick up any of the mango. I okay. I get a lot of the raspberry on the sniffer as well <laughs> as on the taster. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. It's super thick. It's got like the, um, the fruit kind of sticks to the side of the glass. It's like kind of smoothie. Like it's totally like a smoothie, like Jamba juice for grownups. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. It's awesome. It's um, a lot of raspberry flavors and oh, I don't know. I don't really pick up the mango. Dig it. Now, it has a super high untapped rating. Do you do you agree with how high that rating totally. is? Totally. Yeah. Really? Yes, I do. And I feel like untapped is always like, if you get a high score on untapped, then it's, you know it's a good fucking beer. I feel like Either, it's always, like, people yeah. are so critical. Though sometimes they, they boost up the hype beers, and that's why I asked. Oh, okay. Well, so, well, for me, I love, I really haven't had a beer or a seltzer from Evil Twin that I've been mad at. I think that they are a really solid brewery. They're right in my wheelhouse as far as like mm-hmm. when they make the sours. And um, I just I just think they're a really, really good brewery. So I'm a big fan. But that's not just because I'm searching or seeking the label. You know what I mean? Totally. No, yeah. they, they make really good beer. I know some people kind of hype over them and, and freak out a little bit. But they make great beer. But there's a little bit of a fine line because there's the evil twin New York City and then there's the evil twin that's widely distributed and they have different labeling and they have different beers. And Mm -hmm. specifically, I'm a fan of the evil twin New York City because what's been distributed to like my local bottle shop or whatever, it's it's not comparable. (laughs) Well, they're they're bigger batch beers because they package them and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 
Very nice. So, anyway, so shout out to Sal. Happy birthday. Thanks for the rad beer. This is amazing. And Evil Twin and Tripping Animals have a collab that's coming out soon that Ooh. I'm dying over. Yeah. I'm, I'm dying still over. waiting to get my hands on some Tripping Animals. Vanessa. Oh, hi, Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, here's Vanessa. Your mention for the day. Yeah, here's hi, your mention for the day. <laughs> yeah. Hi, we, Vanessa. We all hook, need to try some tripping animals. Yeah, hook Greg up with some <laughs> tripping animals. Yes, please. I think that you need some Spanish Marie, too. So. I, I've been trying. I've been trying. Just saying. Um, mm-hmm. All right. Let's move on to, I guess this would be Allie's second favorite part of the show, because I imagine the first favorite part is drinking beer. <laughs> Guilty. This one's a classy dame with a great palate. It's Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. Her name is Courtney, and you can find Courtney on the gram at Beer Me Babe, with dots in between. Beer.me.babe. Beer Me Babe. She is a uh, beer babe from northern New England, and she's just a girl who fell in love with craft beer. And in this one that I'm showing the gents, she's drinking a, a tasty offering from Lone Pine Brewing. So do yourselves a favor, go file, go file, go follow Courtney on the gram at Beer Me Babe. She's, She's got a cute dog too. She does have a cute dog. You're right. I think it's a cane corso. Looks like it. Oh my gosh. I want that dog. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? Yes. You're one of those girls at the breweries, aren't you? Can I pet your oh, dog? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, and then at the brewery that I work at, we don't allow dogs, only service dogs. And do you, it fucking kills me. I won't. I oh. won't. I won't tell them to leave. I make the other guy that I work with tell them because I'm like, I, I fucking refuse. I, I want all think, the dogs here. I don't think I can come visit you now. Mm, bring Marty. Marty the brew pup. Just, just yeah, yeah. Just get him. Get him a little fucking vest. Oh. No. Uh, what if I just put him in a stroller or something? The what? Put him in like a stroller. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get him the vest because legally yeah. we aren't allowed to ask like the only question that we are allowed to ask is is that a service dog right and well if you, if you come s- up and ask me yes he is yeah per- so just be prepared in I'm california not gonna, i'm not you gonna fucking need, ask you though yeah you don't even need the vest in california oh really oh you don't yeah, okay you don't it, it helps but if they come up they just hey is this a service dog yes it is i think that the vest just eliminates the conversation Right? Yeah, totally. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh my gosh. There was a dog the other day that somebody, they came in the back and put it on the patio and came inside and ordered their beers. This dog, f- fucking perfect. He was smiling the whole time. He's so <laughs> cute. And I'm like, I'm not telling him to leave. Mm-mm. 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 No, you no didn't. way. No, you didn't. He was so cute. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Speaking of cute, let's find out what Dan's drinking over there. <laughs> Well, another classic segue. So uh, I come that's why they pay me the big Wasn't bucks. Wasn't something supposed to happen? <laughs> so I'm drinking a sea pine she said. Bre- <laughs> drinking sea pine <laughs> brewing <laughs> rainbow <laughs> suspenders double IPA. Big spender, dig this blender, <laughs> rainbow suspenders. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That was worth the wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> I agree. Is that Homer Simpson? Yeah, it was Homer. It's from a uh, Simpsons episode <laughs> where he meets uh, George W. Bush. George W. Oh. Bush? George H. Bush. Excuse me. The first yeah. one. Yeah, the first one. George Bush what, Sr. One of the Bushes. Yeah, the older one. He's still alive, right? No. No. Oh, Awkward. my God. That's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The old Bush is dead, just like the 85-year-old lady. The- Crickets. Uh, R.I.P. Okay. J.H.B. there. Yeah, so it's... Uh, <laughs> 8.7% ABV, lady. 80 IBU, uh, 4.04 in untapped, and 90 on BA. I actually found a, a uh, yeah, and I found a description here on the beer, actually, the beer can. Mm. Pretty, uh, got your standard can here. Uh, not too sweet and plenty of bitter hop goodness from Azaka and Mosaic to satisfy even the headiest of hop heads. Mmm, nice. And, uh, yeah, I got to co-sign that, you know, and this is for uh, Fontana, Fontana Jim. It's a Wiz Coast <laughs> IPA, and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, Let me start it, the interview. Yeah. You, you know what I like about it, though? I'll co-sign this about it, is that it, it's it's a sipper. You know, I, I feel like mm. it's it's only 8.7%, per, 8. you know. Easy for you to see. Uh-huh. But I feel like you, you taste all of it. You know what I mean? And I like that. I feel like, you know, rather it's than... Warmth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just what are the IBUs like, on that? 
Sorry. Oh, Can it's, you tell uh, me again? It's 80. 80 IBUs. 80? Holy mm-hmm. shit. But it, it definitely, you know, it, it. you taste all 80 and you taste all 8.7% yeah. of that. You know, like I said, it's it's not one you can crush. Like, you, you're sipping on this. Like, I still got mine. I've been drinking it before the show. So I'm just, you know, slowly chipping away at it. And that, mm-hmm. that's what I like about it. Very nice. Um, yeah. And that one came to us by way of uh, Tavor. So if you guys haven't used Tavor, go check out Tavor. Oh, and they just sent us a promo code, uh, unfiltered. If you haven't used Tavor before, they sent it to me yesterday. Go use promo code unfiltered. And wow. uh, if you're first, t- yeah, if you're first time user, you get ten bucks off if you spend twenty five. There you go. Nice. It's like nice. Fr- free ish beer. Um, so yeah, I order from Tavor all the time. <laughs> They're like, hey, you know, we, we want to uh, do like a promo code. I was like, does it matter that I order shit from you all the time? Like, <laughs> no, it's good. I was like, fantastic. Then yes, we'll do a little promo code and we'll we'll drink some beers. So do you get anything if anybody uses your code? The satisfaction of knowing that they're drinking some delicious beer. Yeah, uh-huh. the, the way I see it, it, it just pays to listen to the show. So don't ever say that we didn't get you anything. That is accurate. Dan nailed yes, it right yes. there. Yes, I agree. Uh, all right, let's round things out with a little bit of booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is indeed. Uh, first of all... <laughs> We have word on. We last week we talked about McKellar no longer being at uh, New York City, uh, City Field location. From the website Mets, as in the baseball team, MetsPolice.com, they say the brewery is dead. Long live the brewery. It didn't take long for someone to announce they were moving into that space. Fountain Beverages owned EBBS Brewery just opened up in Brooklyn. They'll be brewing in that location. Who are they? Let's see. They're owned by Bruce Wilpon and wait, yes, that Bruce Wilpon of you know the Wilpons. They own the Mets. Uh, The one that owned part of McKellar in YC, he's taken a lot, if not all of the people that worked on McKellar with him to EBBS. If you peep their LinkedIn pages, most of them have already been working uh, working there. KGR Logic on Twitter noted that obvious uh, interference to Ebbets Field that I miss, which makes me roll my eyes, but maybe it's the perfect name for Brooklyn Brewery that is actually in Queens. Uh, Thank you, Mets Police, for your awesome grammar. I feel like I need <laughs> cliff notes on that. What was that? I don't even understand. So they're being replaced by EBBS, and EBBS is owned by the same guy who had a big chunk of McKellar. Also, his family owns the Met. Okay. McKellar is also, isn't McKellar has a twin? Evil twin. Evil, Evil twin. twin. Yes. I just wanted to just connect the dots that the Mike Keller, I don't think a lot of people understand that Evil Twin Brewing Company is the twin brother of the the owners of the company are twins. Yeah, the owner of Mike Keller and the and they hate each other. And so they started, I believe they were in New York or I'm sorry, they were in San Diego. Right. And then one moved to New York and he started he was like the evil twin. And so he started his own. Well, I just really thought it was a. Oh, from the Netherlands? Mm-hmm. McKellar's in San Diego, <laughs> though. Well, one of the locations are. Isn't... Oh, I guess that's not the main one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm drinking Evil Twin tonight. Yes, you are. <laughs> McKellar would be very upset. <laughs> I need to get some. <laughs> yes. Uh, Diageo to launch Zero Alcohol Guinness in the UK and then test it in the US. As if Guinness couldn't get bad enough... They're now going to remove the alcohol from it. What the hell? No, what? <laughs> have Why? they not? Have they not seen how 2020 has gone this far? You guys are removing alcohol. alcohol from stuff. Yeah, what? we need you to up your alcohol content. Why are we the test subjects? Yeah, the news story should be that they're doubling the alcohol content. No kidding. Mm. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I don't get why they said let's test it out on the stadies. Like, you know, like why? Why? Why do we gotta fucking be subjected to this kind of guinea pig torture? Right. This is bullshit. This mm-hmm. Guinness pig torture. Guinness pig. Yeah, no yes. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then finally, drunk Florida man takes out a fence and Biden signs with stolen bull- bulldozer. Whoa. <laughs> James Blight, 26, of Haynes City, was arrested Saturday afternoon after officers found him driving the stolen construction equipment. The equipment had been stolen from a construction site, and Blight was not authorized to take it. 
Haines City Police said Blight took out a private chain link fence, several Joe Biden campaign signs, <laughs> and a city-owned speed limit sign. He allegedly told police he'd been drinking whiskey all day and didn't remember <laughs> most of the day. <laughs> Blight wow. said he couldn't help it, uh, but hit the Biden signs and acknowledged he took down the fence in the process, saying he didn't know how to operate the equipment. <laughs> Blight is facing a charge of grand theft greater than $20,000, criminal Whoa. mischief of $1,000 or more, and trespassing on a construction site. Criminal mischief. Mm-hmm. This I is, like that. This just has Florida written all over it. Yeah. That's funny that he couldn't figure out how to like, uh, well, obviously, can you imagine trying to operate something you don't even know how to work and you're drunk? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that could totally yes. fucking sympathize yeah. with that dude. Yeah. Scott tries you to drive a car every day. Scott. Yeah, every well, day. I was, was yeah. going to say Scott when he's trying to pee, but yeah, same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That too. Yes. Judging by the signs he knocked over, I'm pretty sure the whiskey was cheap and there was probably some natty ice somewhere. <laughs> uh, and then finally... I just wanted to give a couple of shout outs. GABF was a couple of weeks ago. Last week we had Nick on the show, so we didn't really touch on it. But some local favorites won some medals. Uh, Institution won a couple medals. Oh. Topa Topa won some medals. Uh, Second Chance down in Alley's Hood won some medals. So uh, just Ooh. congratulations to all the GABF winners this year. It was a weird fucked up GABF thanks to the Rona. And, and good on you for those who won some medals. Yeah, big time. That's everything. I'm going to hit some music. We're going to get on up out of here. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you to Flex for <gasps> sending in that the voice. That was my highlight. Highlight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. highlight of the evening. Thank you, Flex. Mm-hmm. We need more Flex. Story. Yeah, we need more. 805-538-BEER-2337. Uh, find us on the web. It's theunfilteredgentleman.com. On the socials, at the Unfiltered Gentleman. Find Allie on Insta, at Allie and Cali. A-L-L-Y dot I-N dot C A. L L Y and uh, send us an email if you're old school like that. The unfiltered gentleman at gmail.com. I do believe that's everything. So hope everyone is staying very well hydrated and get out there and just fogging vote everybody. Mm-hmm. On that note, preach. Good night, everybody. Good night.